Hi everyone, welcome to this video about our first 10 day experience with our new cockatiel. Even though I'm used to owning budgies, I was a very worried first time cockatiel owner. I hope this video gives you a feel of what it can be like the first days and takes some worries away about your new cockatiel. Once arrived in our house, Mojo was very quiet and he sat still in the corner. Within the first hour, he made noise twice and after that, he stayed quiet. Today we gave him lots of space to acclimatize and didn't interfere too much. Also, he didn't drink and eat yet, so we moved his water to his favorite spot in the cage. He was interested, but didn't know how to get there, so he started screaming loud. In the evening he finally found his food and water and he decided to sit on it, sleep on it and stay there all night. The next morning he woke up on his football. He did move a little bit and made a brief noise once or twice but because he was shaking too I was so worried that he was sick or that he wouldn't settle in. I tried to play bird songs to make him feel at home. It's those noises. Didn't work. Try. Turn things up. I just got home and see. Totally freaked out. Screaming really hard. Thinks he's scared. He was sitting in the corner where his food and water were a lot of the time. He did eat and drink though, which made me happy, but I was a bit worried because he wasn't that vocal and he wasn't that lively yet. So we gave him a bigger cage and let him go in himself to see if he liked it. He screamed really loud at first. But once his food and water got in, he was so happy with his new cage. Hello. And he uh, ate an apple for the first time. <laughs> you, you appreciate your new cage, huh? You love it. You got so talkative after that. Yeah, you love it. Yeah, you're doing pretty sounds. He was so happy today and we were so happy to hear him. Because that's a sign he's getting more comfortable here. So day three started off with him being shaky and he seemed very scared. I was worried because it seemed to go so well last night and now he got back into being uncomfortable. We did not really know how to deal with it so we thought it might be good to start bonding with him. So we did a first attempt of hand feeding him so he would get a bit more used to us and the situation he's in. But he started screaming. Yeah. You want it? it was so sad to see because he wanted to get the food, but he was just too scared to come close to it. We let him alone for a little bit. And then we tried to do the same with Candy, which would be less scary for him because my hand was a lot further away. Mm -hmm. 
But it turned out he was gonna sit on the candy and he had no idea what it was. So I introduced him. Well, that was easy. We go back to trying the candy inside the cage. And he ate it. He didn't even scream. Really? Are you happy here, huh? The hand trading really motivated him to move around the cage more and this was the first step into bonding with him. It resulted in a singing bird at the end of the day. So he slept the whole time in the corner now, next to his water. He's very quiet. It's a bit worrying that he's still not very energetic. We tried to give him candy again, make him a bit more active, let him come to it. But he wasn't into it yet. Also we tried to hand feed normal food because it's not healthy to only get candy. But he refused it. I decided to put some candy in my hand as the next step, but he just wanted it the easy way. What didn't he? At the end, he was even eating the crumbs from my hand. So wow, that was a step for sure. So proud of him. I could even touch him sometimes. He didn't like it, but it was a start. He even tried to get onto my hand to get the candy. And he stepped on with He's one on of his feet. <laughs> on the fifth day, we moved him next to the window and he seemed to like it. We did some more hand training, seeing if he would get used to my hand, but it was still very frightening for him. He wasn't sure if it was safe. afraid a little bit we thought it would be nice to let the gate open to see if he wanted to fly or walk around to explore and feel safer in his environment so we bribed him with candy to get out he was a happy explorer until he freaked out he made his first flight he couldn't fly very well and flew straight into the curtain, screaming for help. Until his lucky attempt to get onto the stairs. Which after this maneuver, we had to cover with a blanket. But yeah, he had a good sleep and that was the end of day 5. So this morning he started off being a bit scared for my hand. I think it was because he had a bit of a frightful night last night, going flying. Just the first time. But quite soon I got him back onto his old level.
and I could even kiss him goodnight. You have to get down. Day 7 he was getting a bit more lively, he was using the cage quite a lot to scramble around and he was getting on my hand. So I was a bit worried today again, I was googling if it was normal that the bird wasn't that lively yet and that he wasn't that talkative yet, um, but then I figured out he was sleeping on one leg for the first time, which is a good sign because that meant he wasn't sick. I also bought a saper stone and some grit. After that things got a lot better. On day nine, I um, started to praise him when he made nice sounds because I wanted him to speak more because he was so quiet all the time. And then he made three beautiful singing noises today. I was so happy. I even trained him to look really cute and then get candy for it and he was so clever, he figured it out straight away. Today he was singing for 3 minutes long, he is so happy! Again, he was sleeping on one leg, which is great. Are you a little bit tired of being in the cage? Do you want to get out? Do you want to get out? Do you wanna... um... What's up? What's up? Also today, he made huge progress with hand training. Look at him, he's so eager to get it. He's not scared anymore. So we needed 10 days to get him into a comfortable space, acclimatized to the house and getting used to us. He was onto my hand. And I could even move my hand. And he didn't scare. It was so cool. Do you want to know more? Do you have questions? Let me know. I'll try to answer them as much as I can. Thanks for watching. 